Construction works at the Konza Technopolis have resumed in earnest after a break occasioned by the COVID-19 restrictions. Konza Technopolis uh, Chief Executive Officer John Tanui says uh, contractors are now working 24 hours with over 1,000 workers on site in order to recover lost time. The city is expected to unlock the employment, unemployment gridlock in the country heightened by the coronavirus pandemic and the government has already invested over 100 billion shillings in the project. ICT and Innovation PS Jerome Ching, who joined the MPs for a tour of the Kwanzaa City, said the government was satisfied with the progress, citing that phase one of the data center, which is now complete, and the second phase was nearly complete. And we want to confirm that is uh, up and, and running. Then the phase two that we have currently uh, site, I mean, with that we are currently on site, we are informed is at 50 percent, and that it, will, it has been, well, we've been informed that by December we'll actually be ready and by January we can actually say that uh, we can use the main data center. The smart city roads, sewer and drainage systems are currently being constructed with the state-of-the-art eight-story tower complete and being utilized for administrative purposes. The Parliamentary ICT Committee, led by its chairperson, William Kip Kemoy, said they will give enough budgetary support to the developing the African Silicon Savannah owing to its massive economic projected impact not only in the country but also in the entire continent. Well, government is actually serious and even parliament. We cannot put here close to 100 billion and uh, we, we abandon it. Basically, we will support and as a committee, we will also uh, team up with the other colleagues to ensure this city is a success. He said that through interdepartmental consultations, the government will fast track construction of Thwake Dam to ensure Konza City gets enough water required for its growth. He said so far the government has invested close to 100 billion shillings, indicating the seriousness it was treating the project.